In the final official documents, the Emperor Qianlong's biological mother was the Empress Daughter Chongqing, Niuhu Lushi. But in real history, this may be not 100% sure. Actually, now there are three main versions of Qianlong's birth stories. The first version, Qianlong was a Han Chinese. His real parents were Chen Gelao and his wife. Chen Gelao was an important government officer in late Kangxi's time. He had a close relationship with the Prince Yong of the first rank. At that time, the Prince Yong had tragic political battles with his brothers for inheriting the throne. The Prince Yong was eager to have a son as heir. At that time, the Prince Yong had a pregnant concubine. He prayed this concubine could give birth a boy. Unfortunately, they had a girl. But on the same day, Chen Gelao's wife gave birth a boy. The Prince Yong invited Chen Gelao bringing his son to visit Princess Yong's palace. Chen Gelao did, but when he lived, he brought back a girl. Later, the Prince Yong called his son Hong Li. 25 years later, Hong Li became the emperor, known as the Emperor Qianlong. He knew the truth by accident. So Qianlong liked to wear Han Chinese clothes in the imperial palace and took certain tours six times to search his real parents. In this version, Qianlong did have many paintings that he was wearing Han Chinese clothes, but that was a cosplay. Because the Emperor Yongzheng and his imperial woman also had many paintings that they were wearing Han Chinese style clothes. More important, the Prince Yong, who was the future Emperor Yongzheng, didn't need to steal a boy as hair, because at that time he already had a son called Hong Shi. In Qing Dynasty, or more accurate, in ancient China, using Aries people to impersonate a royal family member was a capital crime. So, it is impossible that Yun Zheng stole a Han Chinese boy as his heir. But this version is still widely believed in Haining, where was the hometown of Chen Gelao. The second version, Qianlong's real mother was a Han Chinese ugly maid called Li Jinggui, who lived in Chengde Mountain Resort. One year, the Prince Yong hunted a deer in Chengde Mountain Resort. He drank some deer blood and had one night stand with a maid. One year later, the maid gave birth a son. The Prince Yong killed the maid and brought the son back to his home. This boy was the future Emperor Qianlong. This version appeared because Qianlong's birthplace had a different version. In Yongzheng and Qianlong's time, Qianlong's birthplace was Yonghe Palace, which is today's Yonghe Temple. But the Emperor Jia Qing, who was Qianlong's son, mentioned several times that Qianlong was born in Chengde Mountain Resort. But no matter where was Qianlong's birthplace, it was almost impossible that Qianlong was born by Han Chinese Li Jinggui, because in ancient in Qing Dynasty, all maids were Manchuria girls who were elected through interior ministry imperial election. 
all eunuchs were Han Chinese. The third version, Qianlong's real mother was Yong Zheng's concubine Qian Shi. This version had support from official document. In the first historical archive of China, there is an official document about Yong Zheng promoting his concubines in 1723, which was the official first year of Yong Zheng's time. In this document, Yong Zheng promoted the Ge Ge Qian Shi to Xifei, the consort Xi. In 1741, six years after Qianlong became the emperor, Yong Zheng's order was changed to, to promote Niu Hulu Shi to consort Xi. Because one consort title couldn't be given to two different consorts, so Qian Shi and Niu Hulu Shi should be the same person. Besides, Ge Ge was a lower rank concubine, which actually was a maid but could sleep with the prince. In Qing Dynasty, generally the girl from Upper Three Banners Bao Yi family became the Ge Ge of the prince. For example, Qianlong's imperial noble consort Hui Xian. Niu Hulu Shi originally was from Manchuria bordered white banner. She should join the eight banners imperial election. If she was arranged to be married with the Prince Yun, it was more reasonable that she became a first rank concubine. So some researchers believed that Qian Shi was Niu Hulu. Yong Zheng wanted Qianlong to be a pure Manchu, not half Manchu, half Han Chinese. He changed Qian Shi's family name to Niu Hulu Shi. This version looks reasonable, but only one official document could support this version. So, in the official history, Qianlong's real mother was Niu Hulu Shi, who was a Manchuria banner people. Thank you for watching this video. In next video, let's see the whole story of the Empress daughter Chongqing. See you soon.